We're not spending any money today. That's right, you heard me. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some free things to do in Las Vegas. And believe me, there's way more than you think. If you're not careful, you can spend a pretty penny here in Las Vegas. And we all know that Las Vegas can get pretty pricey pretty quick. Now I did create a video like this once before, but that had more of the classics that everybody knows is free. So I want to show you a few more options that way you have more to choose from. So feel free to leave your wallet at home. Oh wait, this place is free. So we might as well start right here at the Las Vegas sign, which is located on Las Vegas Boulevard, just south of the Mandalay Bay. It is open 24 hours a day, so you can come at any time. It was built in 1959, so it has been here for a while now. However though, I don't know if it's just me, but I don't feel like people really started coming until like the 2010s or so. That's at least the first time I ever came. However though, because it is free, um, you're gonna be seeing long lines. I would say just be conscious of what time you decide to show up to the Las Vegas sign because especially during the summer, we do get blazing heat and really high temperatures. So I don't want you to be waiting out here in this line for a really long time. Now, although there is a line, uh, the line is technically optional. You can do what we just did and we went over to the side and we just took pictures over there. I think the line is really if you just wanna like take a picture at the actual like hump right there at the grass. Now, just FYI, sometimes when you come here, there might be a person there at the front offering to take your pictures for tips. Now, you don't have to have this person take your picture for you. You can definitely ask anybody else that's in line or somebody else that's in your party. Just saying, it's a free things to do video. Come on. That's right, we came to the Hoover Dam. This was about a 40 minute drive from the Las Vegas Strip and we are right now on the border of Nevada and Arizona. And it is something free that you can do. It's open to the public from 5 a.m. until 9 p.m. So you have plenty of time during the day to come visit. Now when you first drive in, you're gonna be seeing a parking garage to your left, but don't park there because that one's gonna charge you. What you're gonna wanna do is pass that parking garage, go over the bridge, and then over towards the Arizona side, there's gonna be some free parking spaces. Oh my nachos, this is huge. It's really nice to just be able to come here for free and just admire this man-made wonder. Oh look, free water. That was actually cold. Good water. Now, although coming to the Hoover Dam is free if you want to see it from the outside, if you want to go on the inside area, they do offer some tours. Anywhere from $10 for the self-guided exhibit tour and then $30 for the guided dam tour. Only open from 9 to 5. Haha, <laughs> there is an elevator. We didn't have to take those stairs. <laughs> Oh my lord, oh, so good, it's hot. This is summer guys right now, we need this. Oh my god, it's so hot. Let's go back to the AC. We're finally back into the AC. So now we are back here at the Las Vegas Strip and we are now inside of the Venetian Hotel. So here at the Venetian, they've been having this free show called Streetmosphere. So every day from one o'clock till five o'clock on the hour, they'll be having different performers sing different covers of different artists, but they will do it with an Italian twist. So if you wanna come watch the show, you do have to come over to the St. Mark's Square. Oh my God, that's it right there. the Jonas Brothers, but they're singing it in Italian. That's so cool. So just expect that every hour you're gonna have different singers and different songs every single time. It could be anything classical, it could be anything from today's music. I knew it. Oh wow, they're still going. This is already their third performance that they've been going since they first started for this hour. Now again, during the weekdays, it's from one o'clock till five o'clock on the hour. And then on the weekends, they have a few extra performances. That's six o'clock, eight o'clock, and nine o'clock. So if you're here at the Venetian Hotel, you might end up catching them. And then also every single day at 4.20 p.m., they'll be having the gondolier march, which just like it sounds, they have all the gondoliers kind of come in together and they just kind of sing and they walk around the St. Mark's Square. So that's also something to look forward to. And they're still going. <laughs> okay, so really 
quick, before we go on to the next spot, I just wanted to give you like a bonus location. Yes, we are at the Bellagio Conservatory and I have shown this spot dozens of times in previous videos. But the reason that I show it off so many times is because, well, it changes five times a year. You have it for Chinese New Year, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And right now they have their summer display going on. As always, they did such a wonderful job. I mean, just by looking around, I mean, you can see the theme of all the flowers, all the greenery, so many birds. And I especially think the big flowers give it a big pop. Wow, look at that sculpture right there. It looks like it's straight out of the movie of Moana. Open 24 hours a day. Okay, so the conservatory was the bonus. So this is one of the other things that would be free to do. So if you kind of come around the corner from the conservatory, you are gonna find this chocolate fountain. So this is located at the Bellagio Patisserie and this is the world's largest chocolate fountain. It has white, medium, and dark confectionery grade chocolate and it has over 500 feet of stainless steel piping. Now I'm not 100% sure if it's still the world's largest chocolate fountain just because I feel like by now they would have created something bigger but this is still kind of cool to come see. Now personally I wouldn't say that you need to come out of your way just to come check out this chocolate fountain but I would say while you're here at the Bellagio I mean go check out the conservatory and then again it's just around the corner and just come check this out and take a few pictures. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know if this chocolate is edible or not. Hence why they have the patisserie here so you can actually buy something edible. All right, I have one more Bellagio thing I wanna show you. So the next thing here instead of the Bellagio is going to a free art gallery, specifically the art gallery by Richard McDonald. So this is located right next to the entrance of the O Cirque du Soleil show. This is open all day so you can come in pretty much at any time and you'll see all the marvelous sculptures that they have in here. They have some sculptures that are really little and then they have some that are really tall. It's cool being able to see how Richard McDonald was able to create all of these sculptures by having live models. Imagine just having to like stand there the whole time while he's trying to like make a sculpture of you. And fun fact, you can actually also buy these as well. But again, even if you're not here to see the show, still come in and take a look at some art for free. So next up, we are at the Aria Hotel. So for this next bar right here, we are gonna be doing a free art walk. I did show this off once before in the Places You Didn't Know Existed video. Basically what you're gonna do is that you're gonna walk over here to the concierge desk that's right next to the front desk. You're gonna ask for the art walk QR code. Oh look, you don't even have to ask the concierge directly. It's just over here on their side right now. So once you go ahead and scan the QR code, it's gonna bring you to this page right here, where it's gonna have a total of 23 different art displays. They are gonna be divided between the Aria, Vidara, and Crystal Shopping Center, but majority of them are here at the Aria Hotel. So many of these can be anything from paintings, sculptures, or even light displays. Some of my personal favorites include the canoes that are right outside the Vidara Hotel, the typewriter eraser from the Aria Hotel, and then this one right here, which is in front of the Aria front desk, and it's a recreation of the Colorado River, but made in reclaimed silver. And and there's so many more interesting ones that you'll find across these three properties. All these art displays are really cool and it's almost like the Aria Hotel is a museum but just more spread out. And don't worry, they do provide a full map so that way you're not lost throughout the properties just wandering aimlessly. So something else that I think you should know is about free parking. If you guys haven't heard yet, within the past few years, a lot of these hotels and resorts did decide to start charging for parking, but luckily not all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the full list right here, but as of right now, the places that you can get free parking are gonna be Venetian Palazzo, Treasure Island, Circus Circus, Win and Encore, Sahara, Fashion Show. The Tropicana is also another one that you can get free parking, but it's kind of almost over towards the side. So if you're gonna park like, you know, closer towards the hotel itself, they are gonna be charging. Resourceville used to be free up until a few months ago that they decided to start implementing paid parking. However though, if you do sign up for the Genting Rewards, doesn't matter if it's even the first level, you will be getting free parking. So if you decide not to get the rewards card, then it's gonna be $10, regardless if you stay for three minutes or 18 hours. Now anything that is an MGM Resort or a Caesars Entertainment Hotel will always give you the first hour for free. After that, it is gonna be paid parking. Unless you are a Nevada resident with a Nevada ID, then you can get up to three hours for free. Then if you do decide to go downtown and visit Fremont Street, pretty much every hotel around there is gonna be paid parking as well. And then another thing that is provided free here in Las Vegas is gonna be the trams. So there's a few trams that are completely free. Starting off with this one right here, which is gonna be the Ari Express. This is gonna start at the Ari 
Bellagio Hotel, then it's gonna make a stop at Crystal Shopping Center, and then finally at the Bellagio Hotel. There's another one down south, which is gonna start at the Excalibur Hotel, and we'll also be making a stop at the Luxor and the Mandalay Bay Hotel. And then finally, the one that's more up north is gonna be between the Mirage Hotel and the Treasure Island Hotel. And then finally, well, it's, it's not technically a tram, but this one is called the Downtown Loop. This one is gonna start over at the Strat Hotel and is gonna take you all through the Arts District, some of downtown, and all the way over to the Las Vegas North Premium Outlets. From Sunday to Thursday, that one's gonna be running from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then Fridays and Saturdays from 3 p.m. till 10 p.m. Not to be confused with the Loop, which is underground, and that one goes to like Resorts World, the Convention Center, and then they're planning on expanding that one. At the moment, that one you do have to pay for, which is $4.50. Which, speaking of free transportation, our ARIA Express is here. So keep on going to the next spot. So for this last spot, we are here in downtown Las Vegas by Fremont Street at Container Park. So there's two different things here that you can do for free. For this first one, it's uh, this guy right here. This is a praying mantis right here. And every single night after sunset, he will be blowing fire from his little antennas and they will be theming it two different songs. Right now, because it is summer, it does start at 745. But of course, depending on the seasons and how early the sun sets, it can start earlier. And I'm not gonna lie, this guy scares the crap out of me because you'll just be walking by and yeah, the fire guys have no mercy on you. Once the first performance does occur, it does go on about every 15 to 20 minutes. Now, during the day, Container Park is available to all ages. So everyone is welcome inside before 9 p.m. Once it's 9 p.m., you do have to be 21 and over. Now, something that's really cool inside is gonna be their treehouse. So of course, their treehouse as well is free. Kids and people of all ages can go inside and explore up until 9 p.m. And then of course, after 9 p.m., you do have to be 21 and over. And at the lawn right by the stage, they do have free games so you can play with like Legos, soccer balls, and checkers. So free things to do for all ages. Okay, so honestly, I really hate that praying mantis. It scares the crap out of me every single time. So my cameraman is taking footage for me. <laughs> it started. <laughs> God, I hate him. So see you guys, I told you we weren't gonna spend a single penny. Good thing we left our wallet at home. So as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. Tell me what free things you'd like to do here in Vegas. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you next time. If you're not careful, you can spend a pretty penny here in Las Vegas. Yeah, what am I saying? Okay. If you're not careful, you can spend a pretty penny here in Las Vegas. And, ugh, hold on, plane, touch your face. Touch your face now. So feel free to leave your home at wallet. What? what? <laughs> feel free to leave your home at wallet. Your wallet at home. Jesus. Wow. Okay. It has been open. <laughs> it is open for 24. <laughs> In the blazing heat. Because again, during the summer. Oh my god. Don't drop it. <laughs> Anywhere from ten dollars. Okay. No. Anywhere from ten dollars for a self-guided exhibit tour, all the way to thirty dollars for a guided damn tour. Shit, let me say it again. Ow. Okay. This is open all day, so you can just come in and gaze around and look a little bit. No. What am I saying? So I have shown this once before in my. Resorts World was completely free up until a few months ago that they decided to start implementing char. Paid parking. Okay. After that, it is going to be paid parking, unless you are a Nevada. Ugh. Now, because of summer, it does start at 7:45, but of course, it can vary depending on the seasons and how early. I lost my breath. Okay. Okay. Cut. Don't forget to leave your home at your wallet. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> As always, guys, please make sure you give this video. Gross. Ew. He left the smoke all over the place. Oh, it's gonna stink. It's a fart. Three, it's a car fart. Two, <laughs>